Hey there guys, how are you doing today? My name is of course Callum and today I'm going to quickly bring you a uh, little tutorial on how to quickly add uh, uh, hedgerows to your Farm Simulator 2025 map. So, I've written a big tutorial on the Discord channel on the modern tutorials, how to quickly make hedgerows with splines. So what you want to do, there's a couple of things you want to do is head over to the Farmer Boys modding and download the placement um, panel, what you need to do. So you create an account, you sign in or whatever, and you scroll down and you press uh, this download down here. I've already got it, so I don't need to worry about it. Um, so when you got that, you want to head it, you want to install it in your Giants Editor main install directory where you have your scripts. Create a folder called Spline Panels, and then get your um, downloads. Get all of this and just play, drag and drop them into here, so you have these six files here. Close that off. Next, what we want to do is, I'll show you here, download this hedge, close the download, we'll save it, okay, close that off, the downloads, we'll open the hedge, wherever you have your uh, place rules or assets folder within your farm sim map is, is where you're going to put it. So I'm just, for, for this example, I'm just going to put it in my main placeable folder. So grab the main hedge, drag and drop. Open that, there's all your i3ds, your shapes and your shrubs and whatnot. So there's the main hedge. So head over to your Giants Editor. I'll open it up now. Let's close that off. I'm just going to drag and drop. So I'm just going to press Ctrl B so I've got my hedge right here. All working fine. This is a six meter hedge. So what we want to do is we want to open up the spline panel. So let's press uh, scripts, shared scripts, spline panel because we named it that folder. And then we want the spline placement panel combined. It will open up like this, but also in the scene graph, it will create a new transform group called spline objects. Uh, what we want to do is press on the, the plus, uh, the plus again so we've got the spline placement objects and placed so what we want to do is we want to add this hedge to the objects to place so we press ctrl x to cut object to place ctrl v just like that let's see we've still got the hedge here so what we want to do is we want to create a spline so we're going to go create spline it will go down here so we press ctrl x we want it in this spline placement transform group. So press Ctrl V. What we'll do is whilst we've still got the spline selected, we'll press Ctrl B to down here. Have the start wherever you want the start to be. For example, mine's just going to be down here for now. What you want to do is to then I uh, can actually turn that and bam. So it goes a bit more straight. You want to grab the end. Uh, Plonk it somewhere, wherever you want. If it's a straight road, then that's easy. Straight and straight. But mine, I'm going to show you on a bend. Because it, it does work on a bend. But obviously, if the bend is too much, for like example here, we'll have to like manually uh, turn them and whatnot. So, if you've been watching the live streams, as you know, we've been doing all these hedges over here and the roads and whatnot. Anyway, we're going off topic. So what we want to do is press insert to like slowly give it a bend. Insert again. Do it a couple times or however many times. If you obviously if you're going around the field, you have loads of these. But for example, I just want these ones. So I'm gonna tilt that like that a tiny bit. Bring that all the way to the end there. So as you can see, I've got my my spline set up. What we want to do is that we then want to press the spline placement transform group. Not the spline objects, it has to be the spline placement one. And go, we're then going to open up the spline placement panel. If you minimize it, it'll be at the bottom left. Object distance will be 6, 
you can use five however i like six because it's it breaks up a bit more because it doesn't go as bushy um leave everything else deselected make sure the state upright is deselected if not if it's deselected if you've got like a little hill it will climb the hill like, like that and then it will like make its way down but however if you've got it selected it will go if you've got your little hill it will oh, it will step up like that you see and it will just look look horrible so if you're doing a hill make sure it's selected is deselected let's place that back on the floor again spline placement all we got to do is object distance is six because these are six meter hedges like i say you can change it to five but i prefer six then all you got to do is just place objects so as you, as you see on here we've got a slight bend it doesn't always like to do like proper nice curves so what you have to do is if you want to just manually curve them a tiny bit if you've got a big curve like this your your hedges will be they'll, 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 they'll like try to they'll try to do it but because it's uh six meter it's a bit weird it doesn't always work which one's that one there you go so yeah that's pretty much it it would the slight curves it would do perfectly it did that one not too bad to be fair but yeah no especially straight ones it does straight ones it would do long curves like that it would do curves like that but for example up here item it tried to do it it would give you the hedges to do it but you just gotta like slowly like budge them out and whatnot so yeah that's pretty much it on how to add hedges via spline really it's it, dead easy simple as that no messing about and that's it don't forget there's a the, the discord uh, join link if you want to join the discord server we do we're slowly getting there we're adding more things we're all chatting helping each other out I'm adding more tutorials for as, as time goes on we get we're getting there we're getting there but yeah no everything's here the topic to the link and the new head is what you can download so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i uh, hopefully this helps you a bit quicker to do your hedge spies it will work with fences i think it's somewhat the same but i'm not 100 percent because i haven't got to that bit yet so yeah guys my name's callum Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join the Discord if you need any any support. We're all here to help. Thank you.